What's up you guys, Stacey Irvin Jr. here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe so you can stay plugged into what we got going on over here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use the foam roller to get ready for a leg day or cool down from a leg day. If you've never used a foam roller, you've been missing out. Trust me. The foam roller really helps you make the most out of your muscular energy by providing you with a myofascial release, okay? You can think of that as being like a soft tissue massage that you do for yourself. And I know that that sounds amazing. It's a little bit painful, but trust me, no pain, no gain on this one. So today, guys, I'm gonna show you my top five foam rolling exercises to get ready for leg day, lower body day, whatever you wanna call it, to really help you open that blood flow, let your muscles get loose, keeping that fascia uh, as loose as possible or getting it prime for your body to go through those movements. So follow along or just check it out and add these to your lineup, let's go. So the way I think about it when I'm getting ready for leg day or when I'm using the foam roller, I like to work down my body just so I can get that blood flow started, right? So the first thing I like to start with is the hip area and the quads, all right? So I'll actually start with the hip or the TFL foam rolling exercise, right? So what you're gonna do is really get into that hip crease and open it up so you get the blood flow going through your hips and unlocking that, that range of motion through those squatting positions, right? So that's what this one is for. So you'll stay, you'll get your foam roller down on the ground. And again, what's great about this is that you're able to adjust for what you need, right? So when I'm going for this, I can adjust the pressure. I'm in control of how hard this exercise is for me, right? Like if it's too much, then you just push down harder on the floor. So what I like to do is get the foam roller in line with that hip crease and I'll roll back and forth using my arms to kind of guide myself and then side to side, really getting that loose, right? And you'll notice once you get down, you can just feel whether you're on that muscle or not. It's sort of teardrop shaped that TFL and it really unlocks your hip. So you wanna make sure you're getting in there. And what you do, you aim for about, I don't know, 30 to 45 seconds in each position. And that gives your body that time to really open up, allow yourself to feel that pressure. And then once you've done it on one side, switch over to the other, same thing. Sometimes you'll notice that the pressure needs to change. One side could be locked up more than the other. Like in this instance, my left side feels way better than my right. So I know that that needs a little bit more attention on the right side. But this is the first one, getting that TFL open, working down the body. After I get my hips unlocked and open, the next thing I like to do is move on to my quads. I know I said I'm giving you five movements, but really I'm gonna give you five areas to focus on, right? So we're gonna go from the hips, now we're gonna go down to the quads. You'll move all the way up and down. Don't get too close to the knee, right? You wanna give that patella tendon a little bit of space. You wanna work the muscle here. So you're gonna work your quad on the middle, in the medial side and the lateral side, right? Middle, outs, inside, and outside. So you're gonna have, set your foam roller down, get set, you can go on both legs to start. Again, allows you to adjust that pressure. You're on both quads, you're rolling almost to the knee. Once you start to feel it get off that muscle, you roll back, allowing it to go up the hip, okay? And the way that you work all parts of your quad, you can either Pull your toes out, flex your toes out to the side, right, to get that center. You can flare your toes in to get the lateral side. And what you'll really wanna start doing is getting on one leg, right? Cross one leg over so you can put more pressure on, if you cross your left leg over to your right, you put more pressure on your right leg, right? If I cross my right leg over to my left, I'm getting more pressure on the left quad. And that gives your body, again, that release, it's softening the tissues so you have better blood flow, more flexibility, better range of motion, and you're giving yourself that mind-body connection so you're aware, trust me, <laughs> it makes a huge difference when you're starting to, starting to lift, you've been lifting for a while, you need to get looser, and you're trying to get rid of that lactic acid. These are great pre-workout, and these are also great post-workout, so keep these all in mind. So, Again, rolling all the quad all the way, center, middle, and outside. The next area we're gonna focus on unlocking is our glute area, our hamstring area, right? So what I like to start is by getting the foam roller right in that crease 
where you can feel the attachment, the tendons of your hamstring, right? And what this will do, not only is this unlocking your hamstrings, strength and flexibility, it's going to alleviate some of that pull on your back just because all of the muscles here are so interconnected. So I start with a little roll side to side at the top of my hamstrings. You can grab your ankles, kind of give it a twist side to side. But this is one of my favorite foam rolling exercises for the hamstring. It really gives your body that ability to again, open up, get that blood flow going, and really loosen up your back, right? Important for squats. So once you've done a few of those, you're starting to feel loose. The next thing you'll do is cross your legs over in a figure four and kind of roll your glute out back and forth on the foam roller. Again, we're hitting the glutes and hamstrings in these movements. So you wanna get all the way down to that point where we were initiating our roll and then roll all the way back. And you do those again, each for 30 to 45 seconds, make that change and cross over. Do the same thing on the other side. I can't even explain to you how much of an impact this has had on my ability to recover, to get stronger and to feel, just feel better overall, right? And you'll know when you're on the spot, trust me, you'll know when you're hitting the points that I'm talking about. So once you finish that with the glutes and the attachment of the hamstring, what you'll do, again, you can sit back on where that attachment of the hamstring was and you'll cross one leg over and just kind of rock back and forth to get the remainder of your hamstring on this one, right back and forth. And again, you will feel the areas being activated. Again, if the pressure is too much, use the floor more, use your base on the floor to alleviate some of that pressure and adjust to your needs. Probably my favorite and least favorite foam roller movement at the same time is gonna be the IT band, right? Your IT band connects the hamstring and quads together, right? That little crossover point. So a lot of times you'll get a lot of tension there because your muscles are both actively working and that is part of the fascia that holds that together, right? So in order to get that release, activating your quads and hamstrings better and allowing your body to just function more properly, you're gonna wanna use this exercise. So to do this one, again, you're down on the foam roller and you wanna think about being on the side of your leg, just the side. And you'll know on this one, because this is arguably one of the toughest areas to continue to foam roll out. So you wanna go down near the knee and up towards the hip. Again, you'll wanna make sure that you adjust the pressure to your preferences but this one is super important as it helps both the quads and the hamstrings fire more effectively and more efficiently, giving your body an actually ah, overall better contraction and ability to load that weight, right? So even here, I, I'm, I'm relieving pressure with both my base foot and my hand, and I'm still getting a good myofascial release from this exercise. And then once you've done that, for 30 to 45 seconds on that side. Again, switch over, same thing. Alleviate the pressure with your hands and base foot because this foot of, this, of the leg being worked is gonna be off the ground. Alleviate the pressure of that with your hands and your base foot and give yourself a little bit of pressure in order to truly get a functional work from this. But yeah, work those IT bands and it'll be a game changer, I promise you. Don't get too close to the knee, but really right in that center, you wanna make sure that you're getting a good release. And even doing a little knee bend in and out allows you to really get the depth of that movement. And last but not least, we wanna make sure that we're hitting the lower leg region, getting the calves the gastroc, the soleus, all of it, getting your Achilles all loosened up, right? So how we're gonna attack these ones is you're gonna get down off of the foam roller and just one leg at a time for these ones, okay? If you do both, you're not really gonna get as much of an effective roll from this. So you'll cross one leg over and what you'll do, rocking back and forth, again, alleviating the pressure to suit your needs. I just want you to rock back and forth, try and get all the way down and get up towards that knee crease, but not in the knee crease. And just roll, flare your toes in and out. You can flex your foot, point your toes, flex your foot, point your toes. Whatever you decide to do, 
you'll get a lot of activation from this one. And this will really help your base, right? Your foundation. And you can even just stick here at the bottom and just roll out. Wherever you find that point for you, use that and just attack it. And let it get loose, right? Spend 10, 15 seconds on each part and then you'll switch over to the other leg. And again, you'll notice that sometimes one is more tight than the other, a little more sensitive than the other. And that's just an indication to you that there's an imbalance or that there's something that needs a little bit more attention, right? So when you make sure that you're giving it that attention in recovery and pre-workout, you get a better feel of where your body's at that day. And that's why it's important to do these foam rolling exercises so you know, am I going to overexert this? Is this something that needs attention? Is it something that needs TLC? What is it, right? So again, go all the way down your foot, all the way up your calf, Oh, sorry, all the way down your leg and on all the way back up your calf and really get a full range on the foam roller for that one. And just real quickly, as a bonus, what you can do if you have plantar fasciitis, stuff like that, you can find yourself on the foam roller and just use your foot rolling back and forth to really, again, get that fascial release. There's a band of fascia under here, you know, plantar fasciitis is when this is all tense down here. Give yourself a little bit of time to roll your feet out as your base, because there are so many bones in your foot and give your foot some attention because you're going to be using it <laughs> as you always do, standing, walking, running, squatting, what have you. When it's your base, it's very important. So give that some attention, rolling back and forth on that and then you'll be all set. You do those. <laughs> Go through top to bottom, bottom to top, what have you, and your leg is gonna be primed for a much better workout. And if you do a post-workout, a much better day ahead. But look guys, I hope you take this foam rolling stuff seriously. I'm not joking, it is an absolute game changer. If you have not considered doing it regularly, you need to change your mind on that and get on that wave. I promise you, it will only help you reduce soreness, increase your range of motion, give your body and your brain a better connection, and honestly just give you a much better sense of where your body stands physically. When you're doing this, when you add it into your routine, make sure that you're drinking plenty of water. You might get sore from this. You might get sore from your workouts too, what have you. This helps move, flush some of that lactic acid, but you need to stay hydrated in order to do that as well. So keep that in mind when you start implementing this into your own practice. That's all I got for you today. Make sure you like this video, hit subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you know when I'm coming back with another video. I hope you take this to heart and I really hope that you start using that foam roller to improve your body, your mind, your overall health, wellness, and fitness. Guys, if you need a program, if you need something that is specifically created for you, feel free to sign up for Wave Fitness. Let me coach you on your journey. The link to all of that stuff is in the description of this video. I promise you, I wouldn't share it with you unless I knew it was gonna change your life. So make sure you check that stuff out. I guarantee it will only help you. Other than that, I got nothing for you today, guys. I hope you have a great day wherever this video finds you and I will catch you in the next one. Stacey Urban Jr. out.